Lorcana has its second infinite combo thanks to Into the Inklands. We're going to keep this intro nice and short as this deck is an aggressive deck utilizing pirates, sea witches, and some corrupt laws straight out of Nottingham to fulfill the oops I win combo. Let's talk about the only thing that matters, the infinite combo itself. First, it's not technically infinite, it depends on your opponent having at least 10 willpower among their characters. At least, if we're starting from zero lore that is. Beast Relentless is our lore generator, a 6 drop inkable character with 4 strength and 5 willpower. Beast quests for 2 and his ability second win says whenever an opposing character is damaged, you may ready this character. The Bayou Mysterious Swamp is a brand new location that costs 1, is inkable, and comes with 3 willpower. It nets us 1 lore each turn and costs 1 ink to move our characters there. Its ability, Show Me The Way, reads Whenever a character quests while here, you may draw a card, then choose and discard a card. And the final piece of the combo is Sheriff of Nottingham, Corrupt Official, a 4-drop uninkable character with 2 strength and 4 willpower who can quest for 1. His ability, Taxes Should Hurt, reads, Whenever you discard a card, you may deal 1 damage to chosen opposing character. In case you can't see it, the breakdown is this. Turn 5, play Sheriff. We play him on 5 to reduce the amount of time our opponent can deal with him. On turn 6, we play Beast Relentless. And on turn 7, we win the game by playing the Bayou and moving Beast to that location. Now, Beast quests for 2, triggering the Bayou, allowing us to draw a card, then discard a card. Discarding a card now triggers Sheriff and allows us to deal 1 damage to an opposing character. That then triggers Beast's ability to ready itself. Now we can repeat this cycle until one of two things happens. Either we reach 20 lore and win the game, or all of our opponent's characters are banished. And that's why it's not technically infinite, because our opponent would need to have infinite willpower and we'd need to be able to reach infinite lore in order to keep the loop going. It's time to take everything we can and take it with a smile. And I bet you they're trying the same thing. I got a beast and I got a sheriff. All I need is the location. Let's be careful what I give up here. And I got the, okay, I have all three pieces. I just have to do it right. So turn five, turn six, turn seven. Ideally, the game is over. Opponent gets to go first, though. A generic guy who does nothing. Okay. It feels wrong, but we are gonna ink the beast. Now, it's not a true infinite combo. It does depend on your opponent having enough willpower in play to close the game. Oh, you're not the sing-songy one, so... Let's get a Mr. Shmee. Pass the turn. I don't like having two sheriffs. It's good discard fodder. But right now my only inkables are cards I actually need to keep. Not good. Uh, during your turn, when this character banishes another character, you gain two lore. Whenever this character is banished in a challenge, you may draw a card. Okay. That is inkable. That is good. Did need some ink. And we are going to filter this. I'm just going to play it. To make sure I get more stuff that I can ink. Fast turn. They've got their sheriff down. Oh, they're, they're <laughs> you're making this stuff, Mr. Deck. <laughs> I have two, so I actually feel confident playing one on four. But, yes, I think you play it on five. You want to try to keep their exposure as minimal as possible to removal. They have plenty of willpower out there, though. I could totally just go for it. I don't need two down there, but let's get two just in case. You know, they take out the first one, we'll still have the other. Let's hope opponent doesn't get there. It's also a downside to uh, commit too many of the 
things to the board. Be giving him plenty of toughness. All right. At this rate, I actually win on my next turn. See if they could do anything about it. Don't concede, opponent. I really need this for a video. <laughs> Ooh, bibbity boppity. That deal that buys them a turn. Same cost or less. They don't have a six cost though, do they? Ooh, that Oh well Robin Hood's a six cost, isn't it? I wish I could actually interact with the board during this silly trigger screen. Yeah, but they have to bounce Robin Hood to bounce Beast. Oh no, it's I thought it was bounce one of theirs to bounce one of mine. Oh! Never mind. Never mind. We're fine. It's fine. And that's victory. There's the infinite combo. In case you're wondering, in case you don't know, Beast now quests, gains two, the Bayou triggers, allows me to draw a card, discard a card. That triggers Sheriff, you know, that's the Sheriff of Nottingham, and then you do a damage. Uh, because of the bayou. Doing the damage, untaps beast, repeat, until all their characters are dead or until you're at 20 lore. Super cool. Mmm, sapphire ruby, red blue. Best color combo there is. There's one piece. No other pieces, but I. Mmm. Could be a song heavy deck though. I might keep this little Ursula. We might not get this infinite combo. Alright, we're not gonna go for the infinite combo unless we just start drawing all the pieces immediately. Alright, don't need two of you. We're gonna start with a Capitan Hook. We're gonna work our way into Ursula and see if this is like a... Obviously they gotta be running Be Prepared, right? So far a couple of uh... DuckTales characters. Ooh, there we go. A Shmee! Let's take you out. Oh boy, I really want to play both, but we're gonna go for Shmee. We're gonna hold on to two drop Ursula if we can. Uh, until our turn six, ideally. Because effectively, that just means that we get to uh, let them plan for a be prepared and then take it away from them at the last second. That way they're committing the way they're playing towards that. And then we can disrupt it in the last moment. Ideally. <laughs> Ideally though? Ideally? They're gonna try to win off the back of, uh... Locations. Deal damage to character. Okay, so I don't need you. Let's set you up. Aggro Ball doesn't do anything. It just gains points. Right? Right. This also has to be to a character. If you're prepared to fight locations, they're really not that bad. But like the moment you like decide, I'm going to give them a turn or two with it. They become a problem pretty quickly. All right, Reckless. Whenever a character of yours names Hey Hey Quest, gets plus one and loses Reckless. Okay. Reckless is not Rush. So you can't attack with it. Oh, I need an Inkable. I want to sing it, but I don't want to sing it with Ursula, funny enough. Maybe I will just be casting it. Yeah, let's just cast it. Not my favorite play, but needed to be done. All right, we're actually going to give up a John Silver here in favor of hopefully getting this beast down. Quest. Quest. Fast turn. Keep an eye on that, uh, the ink, though. We definitely want to get Ursula down before they have a chance to be prepared. Made something. Marion. Marion. 
see put an item card from your discord on top of your deck and then the one that cares about location changing oh this is just not cool Ooh, not cool at all am i trading a sme with a hey hey <laughs> yeah sure my opponent's only got one card in hand at this point, if it's a be prepared, it's not so bad. It's like an all bird deck, kind of, isn't it? It's all birds. Maui, except for Maid Mirian, which is a fox, I believe. Like everything they've played has been a bird. <laughs> I love it. Okay, dragon fire, sure, sure, sure. Nothing I could have done about that anyway. Hey, hey, should trade with Smee, and it does not. Gross. Can't even play my beastie boy. Alright, I'm gonna take Hey Hey off the board so he can't attack my lore here. We'll get Sheriff down. Ideally, I'll get a uh, an inkable next turn and Beast will be set. And if we're really lucky, we'll then draw right into our location for the infinite combo. Scrooge McDuck. Whenever this character quests, you may pay one less for the next item. Okay. Well, I got the inkable. Okay, well... The good news here is... A whole new world takes me to... Well, let's see. If I draw an ink, we're at 7. So we're going to be at 7 pretty much no matter what. Down to two. Is that enough for a Bayou? Bayou is one and one. That is enough for an infinite combo. Here's the Grandma Tala. Is this the uh, big special one that everyone's talking about? No, this is common card. Okay. Whenever you play this character, look at the top two cards of your deck. One into your hand. The other on the bottom. Okay. It's possible I could just pull New World myself into the infinite combo and the game's over. Right now, I'm only gaining six at best, assuming they don't attack. Now I'm gaining five going to 18. So even a point of damage wins. I think I just have victory right here. Holding the world is a discard effect, right? So let's quest all. Let's hit him with the whole new world. That should be a discard effect for Sheriff of Nottingham. Yes, it is. There it is. Oh, I love it. Mmm, Sapphire Amber. Have not seen this color combination floating around a whole lot. Let's see what we can do. Okay, there is an infinite combo in here. The question is how hard do we go for it? Let's see, that's the still song, so it's not even the correct one. I have nothing for him. Let's swap all of these up. I want some combo pieces, but I also want this Ursula. Okay. Oh, and I got the Captain Hook into Smee. We're looking good. Right? Infinite combo's in here, but we don't want to bank on just that. Banking on just that sounds like a Fun way to lose a lot of games. <laughs> Ooh, are we gonna have a puppy deck? Is this an all dogs? All dogs go to heaven deck? That's what I'm about to do. Send them all to heaven. <laughs> Mr. Smee and Captain Hook. Here goes another puppy. What I like about the puppy deck is you never feel bad for uh, inking them because there's a million of them. Okay, another bayou. I don't need another bayou. Oh, 
let's just work on this. I'm not sure I want to trade my Captain Hook for the Stitch just yet. Especially when I have a Let the Storm Rage On. Let's see if they play another card that I can double tap some stuff. No, not quite. Okay. Go ahead. Attack that, Mr. Smee. Happy to do it. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I think we're just going to do this. Two damage there. We'll get a second copy. Deal two damage there. Draw another card. Fantastic. Shuffles back into our deck. Super cool. Oh, okay. I was like, and it's not letting me do stuff. Only I could hold new world with Ursula. That would be insane. Let's get the Bayou down. What is this? Whenever you quest? Yeah. So whenever you quest, you get a draw discard. That's super cool. Just that by itself is pretty good. And then I believe, yeah, it also has one lore pip on it. I like that. All right, let's start by moving you here. And then I will quest with you. Draw a card. Discard a card. Let's play you. Get a good look at that hand. All right, they have a Pongo come up. It should really tell you how much these things cost. Like, I know this is four, this is two. How much is Pongo? I forget. Is it three? Let's ink. And let's keep digging. Oh, you can't quest. But you can. Okay, I don't need another whole new world. I got a beast. That's pretty good. Uh, probably should have quested with Captain Hook. That would have been safe, actually. Should have done it the other way. Captain Hook instead of Ursula. Get the extra card draw. But it does cost three. Okay. Reveals a puppy. Draws a puppy. Yeah, I gotta imagine. Yeah. Patch is gonna go for the Bayou. That makes sense. We're gonna ink. And we're gonna play Beast. And I think we're going to take out Patch. Happy to do it. Both my other characters trade with Pongo. Feels pretty good. Okay. We didn't get any of the combo pieces, so it makes sense to not try to go for it. Unless you get super lucky and just start drawing into all of the right parts. This would be a great time to have a, one of those whole new worlds, though. <laughs> Gonna try to take over with some puppy love. We're gonna see a trade with the old Pongo? I doubt it. Hey, there we go. Yeah, let's. Oh, it's tricky. Because if I do this, I'm gonna draw two cards, right? Maybe I just do this. Let's do two damage here. Draw a card. And there we go. I was like, where's my second one? Shuffle back into the deck. Thank you. No special abilities off this, but we'll go ahead and put you on anyway. And then I think I'm just going to quest with you. I'm not going to bother putting you anywhere. Last turn. Uh, it's, okay, it's a little tough, right? You play a whole new world, you get the opportunity to just take over the game. But also, you give your opponent a whole new hand, so they get the opportunity to take over the whole game, too. Let's 
They're going to spend all their time taking out the locations. I'm totally fine with that. Okay, that's nice. Alright, so you're going to sing it. Let's take you out. And let's take... You out. Shuffle back into the deck. Very nice. What is this? Whenever you... Yeah, whenever you discard a card? Okay, there it is. Easy. 